A warm welcome to Art House in this exquisite month of March, which is dedicated to women, and we certainly deserve to be celebrated every day. But hey, we're not complaining, although it should go beyond this month. Just saying. And we have a lot of women making impact in the art world. We see some of them on this week's edition of the show. So get a comfortable corner and we'll be right back. Let's check out what's happening in this art house of ours. I work towards the liberation of women, but I am not feminist. I'm just a woman. The secondary art market, which is the auctions, has been growing steadily on our shores over the years. And Art House Contemporary has been at the forefront of ensuring that it becomes a key part of the Nigerian art and culture scenario. Safe to say that the brain leading this organization is a woman. It's tagged the affordable art auction. The works placed here are waiting to be displayed for all to see. And the event, which is the maiden edition, is to get more people to own works of art. So they are not meant to be pricey. The reason for this auction was very simple. The last eight years, the auctions which are held t twice a year, have concentrated on the best art from the Nigerian and, and Ghanaian fields. This was at a more affordable level, hence the name of the auction, which was the Affordable Art, art Auction in order to bring in new buyers and in order to interest new buyers and get people to understand that in order to invest in Nigerian art you don't have to spend a fortune you can start low and you can build up. They've brought affordable prices for young collectors to come in and young collectors have come to start buying at this level so they can increase it because I noticed that all the lots were sold today. them, done by contemporary hands, are pointed to the direction this auction house is taking in 2016. This auction has been going on since 2008 and we've been so excited by what we've been given, what we've seen and the talent that there is in this country. It's just, at the moment, it's an amazing overflow of incredible talent. The event was too full. The first was an art night out so enthusiasts and patrons can appreciate what is about to go under the hammer. Last chance in the room, 116, thank you. About 200 works done by some of Nigeria's emerging minds that speak ingenuity and creativity with the mix they have added in producing them. Nigerian art is going through a really grand period right now, um, as evidenced by the auction today. It's very, there's a lot of vitality and there's a lot of newness and rejuvenation and interest in the arts across generations. And I think that that's just a really fantastic thing. It's our own, it's um, world class, and we should appreciate it and love it. 240,000 right at the back. No more on the telephone. Any more in the front here? 240,000 selling at the back now. 242. Only the best could have come here, considering those who have come from near and far just to see these works and from the fillers in the hall. It was worth it. Fantastic. Reason being that they've, there's a whole lot of talent in Nigeria. Certain things don't permit the artists to expand. You find artists who would have done very well concentrating because of hunger. They sell their pieces for peanuts, but if they concentrate and develop on the talent they have, they will be able to go very far. I don't think there were any pieces that were put up that um, people didn't buy, which is a very, very good thing. I think there were like 112 pieces in the auction, and I thought you know, it was really good that every piece had a taker. So the bidding here at 120,000, 140 now, 140. At 140,000. Any bidding on the table? 140,000. Not bidding? 140,000. When it started years ago, it was like a closely guarded secret. 
Now the crowd appears to be a bit comfortable, letting the cameras in to see them make the purchase. Anybody can invest in art. Art is life, art, art is therapy. Art is such that um, you can never go wrong with your investments. You know, based on the economy, we understand that it's up and down, but your money you put in art must go up and will never come down. Getting to this stage was no mean feat, but the CEO of Art House Contemporary, Mrs. Kavita Chelarams, was not afraid to try. This auction was twofold. One was to promote new and young Nigerian artists, which we couldn't in, in the main auction because we had a lot of higher work items. And second was to bring in a new market of people who could afford to buy this art and actually become collectors and become interested in buying and investing in art. There were a lot of bargains to be had in this auction. I mean, works were at very low prices and I think whoever's bought in this auction is really on a good wicket. The goal for this year is reflected in the art displayed here today. What's amazing is that um, we started a foundation this year. We're going to have four new young resident artists and we're really trying to promote young artists who need financial support, i.e. a studio space, work materials, a stipend, somewhere to live and be able to work comfortably and then be able to have an exhibition at the end of the year. Also, we feel that this is great in helping young artists sustain themselves by having art as a profession and not having to go elsewhere and work in other things. Last chance, I'm going to 780. 800, will you? The auctioneer, John Dabney, has been there from the start and admits that the artists have grown. The finishing is a lot better and they have learned to push themselves to create more amazing works. 180,000. 180,000. Do I see 200,000 anywhere? I've been coming here now for eight years, I think, and doing two auctions a year. And in that time, I've grown to understand Nigerian art and West African art in general a lot more. Before I started coming here, I didn't understand it at all. But I think it's a fascinating growth area. I think in the contemporary field, it's really becoming uh, quite important on the world stage now. And there are auctions in America and the UK as well as here. But frankly, the, the biggest auctions and the best auctions are probably held here in Lagos. For him, it's a delight to see the quality of works going under and more people are taking notice. That means the numbers can only go higher all the better for the Nigerian art scene. This auction was a perfect example of building from the affordable level up. And certainly that's exactly what we've seen here today, that there have been a number of new buyers who we've never seen before, and they were active buyers as well. At 800,000, last chance in the room, 116, thank you. We're now trying to bring in new buyers to take over from the original older collectors but a, a fascinating marketplace it really is art house contemporary has successfully hosted 15 art auctions and is currently working on the 16th this first affordable art auction is just to test the waters and from the look of things it seems they were able to get people hooked While Art House Contemporary hopes to discover and nurture talent this year, this young lady has been pushing for more young writers to come on board so we can not only tell our stories, but perform them as well. You get details in a moment. Join us again. A woman of many firsts, the first female published author in Nigeria and the first female professor of theatre art in Africa. She distinguished herself as a prolific scholar and writer with several plays to her name. She also held many positions, one of which is the president of the National Association 
of university women.